This video I'm making today is for anyone that's interested in making um, C code. So before you make um, write code in C, you'll need a text and editor. Um, the one I recommend and use is um, Visual Code, Visual Studio Code. It's a source code editor developed by Microsoft. It's really good stuff. It's available on Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. And it includes um, embedded Git and support for debugging, syntax highlighting, and intelligent code completion. So if you just type in visual code into Google, you should get the option here. It's like the first link and you can download for Windows. I'm currently running Windows. And you have Mac OS um, and Linux. Um, yeah, it's super good to get used to this because like if you work on any of those platforms you can just download there's no so git is a pretty powerful tool I can make a video later explaining it but I would definitely recommend it if you're if you if you see yourself doing a lot of programming it helps you with um, version control so you can go back to a version of code that was working before you did something that destroyed it Okay, so I'm running WSL, which basically gives me a Linux subsystem in Windows. So that's the way I'll be programming in um, Linux. If I run WSL-L, you can see that um, Ubuntu is my default distribution. So if I open WSL, it boots me into my Linux distribution. And let me make a new folder. Um, call it vid1. Let me enter that folder. Okay. And the next thing I'd want to do is let's create the C file. So touch the name of the C file. Let's call it hello world.c and and let's um, open this folder in um, in Visual Studio Code I'm going to type code dot it should pop up in a second now nice All right, so I mean, in VS Code, you can see some of my other projects right here, some stuff I was working on. But if you open, if you click right here, you see hello world.c. If you click on that, it opens a file right here. You can see it's a, oh, it's a empty file. So let's um, start writing some C code. So hash include to get our main library, stdio.h, to be able to use a printf function and some various other functions we'll be using today in main uh, let's leave that empty and yeah and we'll just try printf hello world spell that wrong nice and let's return zero, which means it compiled correctly. And I think that should be it. So I can control S to save that. I have our auto format um, on my system. So that's why I kind of changed when I saved it. Um, so if I go to view, I can say view terminal. And in here I can compile it. I can say GCC name of my file which is hello world C gosh oh let me um, specify output file let's say hello 
Yeah. No, that should be good. Hello is my output file. So I saw no errors. It just went to the next line to compile the dot issues. And if I type dot slash hello, hello world. That's it. Program works. Pretty simple. And VS Code is a pretty nice software to use.